Alright, what's up guys, WWE Boy 2100 here, back with another video, and this is the first ever 21,000 review, um, we're gonna be reviewing, uh, figures, and every once in a while a movie, maybe a wrestling pay-per-view, something like that, but we're gonna kick it off with Elite 17, John Cena, so you got the, um, box right here, um, it's in the traditional, um, white, um, uh, on the back, tells everybody else that is in the, um, uh, line, like Kelly Kelly, Seamus, Kofi Kingston, Zack Ryder, Mankind, it's got a little raw ring, um, at the bottom, it shows stat stats of John Cena, his nickname, height and weight, signature moves, and a little biography, but this is Series 17 John Cena, and I'm going to get him open, and then be right back. Alright, so here's the Elite 17 John Cena loose. Um, as you can see, all the accessories that came with him are off, because I'm going to go through those individually, but I had a really hard time um, standing the figure up without the stand. Uh, the stand was not included, uh, but I had a really hard time standing him up. He always fell back. I kind of feel like they can never get it right with these shoes. First they were falling up, now they were falling backwards. Uh, I don't know. Tell me if you guys, uh, if you're Cena's falling back like that. But the first ever Cena that's came with the brown and sort of yellowish, dirt, dirty yellow camo pants and the knee pads. At first, my Cena figure, uh, the articulation would only move at the bottom, right here, until I figured out that you could move it up even more from right here. But, um, yeah, like I said, I really had a really hard time um, moving it, uh, getting to stand, but the accessories it came with, first of all, is the never give up. Focus it. Never give up armband um i don't they just started in in i think it's series 14 they first started uh giving in their removable armbands but we're gonna put it on him real quick but yeah um uh, maybe one day or this may be too expensive but maybe give him removable um um, wristbands, but I don't know. It also comes, like every Cena figure, comes with the dog tags. Um, usually I lose the dog tags, but now, um, ever since Series 14, I've been hanging on to them. Um, I have a special spot where I keep it. Um, but there's the dog tags. They look the same every time. But now you get to the hat and the shirt. The hat says, you can't see me in the white and black. Please watch this video in uh, HQ. Uh, you can see it much better. Um, during Christmas, uh, I'll be getting a new HD camera, so you'll be able to see it better come Christmas time, and maybe, hopefully, everything will be good and good quality. But make sure you watch it in HQ, high quality. But, um... You have the Rise Above Hate John Cena shirt, which I'm going to put on him right now. Do not go anywhere. This will only take a second. It's much better than the regular Cena figures are to me. Uh, I noticed the shirt kind of stained the figure a tad bit. And, and it's really weird because I displayed it with him for maybe about a week and I noticed it. Because when the figure came out, it didn't come with the shirt on. So I really thought that was weird that it left stains that quickly. Uh, but here is the figure with the shirt on. But yeah, it's a really cool figure. One of the, Definitely the best scene of figures they've made so far. Um, if they could just get these feet joints better... Um, that would be great. It's got all the elite articulation. And I dropped him. <laughs> it's, got, it's got all the elite articulation. And his hat's missing. Um, 
nothing like a botch for the first episode. Um, but he's got all the elite articulation, except no articulation in the feet whatsoever. No articulation in the feet at all. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I haven't decided which figure I'll review next. Uh, I really kind of want to review the Mankind, um, or the Elite 17 Seamus. So you guys vote in the comments whether I should do Seamus or Mankind next. So thank you for watching.